I don't know what they really call it, but this is my bird tree. And you can see I've been restoring the lard balls and the nuts for the birds this evening. They were way down. And yet it's a difficult business because, as some of you know, I also have cats. And cats love to play with birds. That's their toy in the garden. Uh, and it's got me thinking that really uh, the job of trying to allow the garden, allow the plants as well as the bird life to flourish, sometimes puts you into conflict with our needs and the needs of my pets. And it shouldn't really be like that, should it? Um, because I think God wants us to live in a relationship with the, our surroundings, our countryside, our gardens, our, our planet, in such a way that we, we draw mutual benefit from it. The, the word stewardship it comes to mind from the Bible, how we are to steward, to look after that. And I think in cities it's really difficult sometimes to, to see that we actually have a big role to play. But we do, and one of the things we've noticed in the city of Dundee recently is that animals and birds have been coming out into the places that humans used to occupy almost by themselves. So let me just read this from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. He said, Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Yes, he does. And sometimes he does it with our help, because we are to be stewards. Let's think about how we can do that. Let's pray. <coughs> Father God, we thank you that in this amazing world, this created planet that you've set us in, that you've given us responsibility to look after it, to enjoy it, and to live in relationship with it. We pray, Lord, that you'd help us to after this pandemic to so live in balance with the plant life and the bird life that we may have mutual benefit and give it to your glory in jesus name amen